what is the one part of engine building, vehicle restoration, customization, hot rod wrenching, whatever, that you think is the worst part? Have you ever noticed that when you're watching you know, YouTube videos or TV shows that are focused on this hobby of ours of just wrenching on old cars, whether it be hot rodding, full restorations, you know, just engine building, whatever. There's one aspect or one side of this hobby that seems to never get touched on. And that's just because it's not, it's tedious. It's not glamorous. It doesn't up the ratings. It doesn't bring in the viewers. It's the day-to-day -day stuff that has to get done but that nobody ever really talks about. And that part of the job that nobody ever seems to want to talk about is all the damn cleaning that has to get done. All of the grease removal, all the crud removal, all the de-rusting, all the whatever. It's just not the fun part of this hobby. For me, one of the worst things about this part of the job it's just all the chemicals involved. I mean, yeah, brake cleaner is definitely a, uh, a staple in my garage for doing things like this. But I try to limit the amount of chemicals that I use. Uh, I try not to use so much, like some of the caustic degreasers and things like that. Um, I've used Simple Green before, and that's, I've had decent success with that. Uh, but a while ago, I was working on an old CJ7, and that engine was horrible. Uh, the rear main seal was leaking, the valve covers, valve cover was leaking. It was one of the plastic ones, so that thing leaked like mad. So that engine was just caked with grime and grease. And So when I had pulled it, um, I found probably one of the best degreasers that I've ever used on an engine or on any engine parts. I had the engine on a stand, had a basically a catch basin underneath it because I do most of my stuff in, you know, bins like this, like catch pans. I don't have, you know, a, uh, a parts cleaner. I don't have a sand blaster or a bead blaster or anything like that. So most of my work is done in bins like this. So that's another reason why I try to limit the caustic type chemicals. So when I was working on that Jeep, one of the best degreasers I found, and that I'm gonna use on this, on these parts, because I'm getting everything to the point where I can paint them. I wanna paint on my brackets. So, you know, obviously you gotta degrease them and then take off any old paint. Anyway, one of the best degreasers I found and that I'm gonna use for these parts and that I think you guys might be interested in, in trying out on your own Dish soap. Now, I know it sounds crazy, and I don't know how many of you have actually tried this, but I found dish soap to be one of the best degreasers out there. And, plus side, it doesn't stink like chemicals. Um, and you don't have to, you know, you don't have to worry about drying out your skin or, or you know, just getting all that, all those chemicals all over you. Um, the way that I use it is I just I put my parts in a bin, I'll kind of slather them with dish soap and uh, let, them, let them sit for a while then obviously take a good brush, you know, different wire brushes or whatever and clean them up and then since I'm going to be painting my brackets I actually just take a, uh, a die grinder with uh, different surface prep type discs to get any any hard to reach places out any any rust any uh, old paint stuff like that so let's see I've got a I've got a couple parts in the bin right now that have been soaking for a little bit so let's uh, get them cleaned up so up there I've got a couple of pieces that I've already done um, here's like the hold down for the distributor this thing was pretty well covered uh, just let it set in dish soap for oh, a couple hours just 
let it set there while I did other things. Came back, brushed it off, and then I hit it with the die grinder with a red, red Scotch Bright disc on it, and that got it pretty much to where it is right now, ready for a quick coat of paint. A couple other brackets, alternator bracket here. Needs to be needs some more, some more sanding to get the rest of this old paint off. But the rest of it's pretty well clean. I mean, there's a little bit of surface rust, but you know that'll get hit with the uh, surface prep disc and. That'll get ready for paint. So I've got a couple of pieces here, a couple other brackets that have just been sitting in the soap while I've been doing other things. And uh, I'm just gonna wipe them down. And then I do use the brake cleaner to rinse them off. And then I'll hit it with the uh, die grinder and that'll get those pieces ready for paint. well that really shows up on the camera here but for the most part I mean they're not spotless obviously but I would say it takes off the majority of crud and now if you wanted to if you weren't going for a full like I want to paint on my brackets but this could probably go back in the car, back on the engine, if you wanted to, but I want to paint all mine, so. But that gets all the, all the grease and stuff off it, and that way, one, it just gets it right down to the paint. That's really the only thing, is the paint and the surface rust that's now on here. Um, and it, that way it helps preserve helps preserve my my surface discs you know that way this isn't getting all gummed up with the crud that was on here and it's really effortless I mean it just like I said I just let it soak in the dish soap for a while and then just give it a good hit with the brush and spray spray it off and dry it off and then this one's ready to get sanded All right, so like I said, I know this isn't the glamorous side of this hobby, but this is one of those jobs that needs to get done. And I just think that it was important for me to kind of share with you guys out there a technique that I use that has made this part of the job easier. Uh, you know, it's less scrubbing, it's less elbow grease involved. It just kind of, by using simple dish soap you know that everything all the crud and everything just kind of kind of sloughs off and i said that makes this job 90 percent easier um the rest of it is just getting in some of the cracks and crevices but for the most part the dish soap does the work um i know there are plenty of other techniques out there you know uh i will be using a pressure washer at least on the intake manifold, probably my radiator, stuff like that, that need to get cleaned. Um, but for brackets, small parts, whatever, dish soap and a bin and a little brush really handles the majority of the work. So, thanks for watching and uh, hit that subscribe. Hit the bell so you get notified when new videos come out. And I'll see you on the next one.